Hello and welcome to Confiance University. These are the topics which will be covered in detail in this business process modeling with Eris Connect eLearning module. The benefits of business process modeling is to establish a common communication medium and provide a foundation for improvement and alignment. It establishes a common business vocabulary, provides the basis for continuous improvement of business processes, simplifies support and maintenance of the implementation life cycle, provides accessibility to a single harmonized process repository, provides the basis for real process performance monitoring which drives continuous improvement represents an integrated view across the enterprise architecture. The ARIS architecture uses a house metaphor to describe the different aspects or views of an enterprise. The ARIS house is made of five views. At the very top is the organizational view. This is supported by data, process, and systems as pillars. The output is at the very foundation of it all. Every view offers a variety of graphical representations to support various project objectives. The process view is integrating all views and is therefore considered the dynamic view. All other views support the processes and are therefore considered static. Organization view describes who does something. It provides the top view that is the overall organizational hierarchy. It also represents all the roles and responsibilities in the organization and links it to the functions or activities. Data view describes which information is received or delivered. It provides data of all the models including all business and technical models. Function view describes what is done. It represents a functional decomposition of business activities and includes applications models. Output view describes why something is done. It illustrates the of outputs which are an outcome of the processes. Process view describes when and how something is done. It represents the sequencing and decisions of processes. Being at the center, this view helps to show how processes are connected to resources, data, and the functions of the business. The organization view describes organizational aspects. It depicts relations between organizational units, roles, and positions. It can also depict relations from organizational elements to system elements. Some of the typically used graphical representations are the model type organizational chart and network diagram. The data view describes data used as input or outputs. It depicts relations between information objects, technical terms, entity types, and others. Some of the typically used graphical representations are the model types, technical terms model, i.e. data model, KPI tree, risk diagram. The products services view describes products and services which are outcomes of the processes. It depicts relations between product-service families, products, services. A typically used graphical representation is the model type product service tree. The function view describes functional hierarchies and system or applications used to execute functions. It depicts relations between objectives, functions, applications, and others. Some of the typically used graphical representations are the model types, application system type diagram, strategy diagram, objective diagram. The processes view describes timed flow and decisions of processes. It also shows how processes are connected to resources, data, and the functions of the business. It depicts relations between functions, responsible roles, executing applications, measuring KPIs, and others. Some of the typically used graphical representations are the model types value-added chain diagram, event-driven process chain, and BPMN models. 
While the ARIS house provides a standard as to how to structure the process information, within the process dimension one can utilize various frameworks to model the processes. Typically one adopts a hierarchical framework, starting with process categories and building varying levels of detailed process models at each lower layer. The top-down method is reflected in the process architecture. Normally, in addition to processes being detailed, the relevant organizational units, input or output technical terms and system components are also included. Note that the numbers and names of layers can change as the organization matures in their business process management discipline. ARIS Connect provides a design environment to create or modify ARIS models. ARIS Connect is a collaboration platform for sharing comments, participating in groups as well as providing model-specific discussions and comments. ARIS Connect is also a portal for quick access to relevant information such as discussion, groups, models, and so forth. ARIS Connect is browser-based and can be accessed using mobile devices. Let's get familiar with the ARIS user interface. It has three main elements, portal, collaboration, repository. You can drill down in the group structure and once a model is selected multiple tabs appear. The overview tab is available for any model type. It provides the most important characteristics of the selected model. Depending on the selected model type you will see description, activities, roles, departments, systems, and others. You can collaborate by following the model and receiving model-specific feeds. You can also post comments or respond to existing comments of the model. The Steps tab is available when any process model is selected in the group structure. It provides a simplified representation by focusing on single activities and is a step-by-step -step guide of the process. When a function is selected, its characteristics such as name, involved roles, supporting system, predecessor, and successor functions appear. The Table tab is available when any process model is selected in the group structure. It provides an overview for each function of the process, including roles, systems, predecessor, and successor functions. You can easily change the style from table to matrix by selecting the relevant icon. You can customize the displayed content by adding or removing columns using the Add Column icon. Groups can be maintained by using the functions from the menu. You can create subgroups for a selected group. You can create a new model within the selected group. Groups can be copied, cut, pasted or deleted. Or you can rename a group. Use refresh if your changes are not immediately visible. Be very careful with deleting groups since objects may be in the group and will be deleted together with the group. Select a group and its content will be displayed. The group content is typically models and objects. Models are depicted with a model icon. Objects are depicted with a generic object symbol. A model can be opened either from the portal register or the repository register. When you are on the portal register, select the Diagram tab, then select the Edit icon. When you are on the repository register, select a group, then click on the model name. If the Symbols panel is not displayed, select the Symbol icon. In order to place objects in a model, select the symbol from the Symbols panel. Then, move the cursor to the Modeling pane and click to place the object. Once the object is placed, the formatting mode becomes active where you now can enter the object name. To complete the object placement, click Enter to create the object. Connections can be created as part of placing an object. Select an object that has already been placed. From the Symbols panel, select the object to be placed and connected. 
If a symbol is not listed, click on the three dots. Only objects which can be connected are listed. Place the object in the model and the connection is drawn automatically. Again, if multiple connections exist, choose a connection from the selection window. A process is defined as a set of logically grouped activities that use resources to transform inputs to outputs in order to fulfill the needs of an organization or parts of it. EPC models can either be built from left to right or top to bottom and consist of events, business triggers and outcomes, functions, business tasks, and logic operators that control flow of the process. A well-modeled process should contain a start event or trigger, activities, connectors, an end event with end state. The collaboration register consists of three main sections which include feeds, groups, and filters. Feeds include personal feeds called my feed, company feeds, and portal feeds. Groups are used to find or create groups for collaboration. Filters include my bookmarked items, my liked items, and filter created based on personal filter options. Feeds generally refer to any post, comments, or collaboration. Under My Feed, your own posts and posts from users or groups you are following are listed. Under Company Feeds, posts from everybody are listed. Everybody can participate even if specific people were addressed. Under My Portal Feeds, all models you are following are listed. The Groups section also gives you an overview of all available groups. You can join any of the public and private groups which are listed. Join a public group by clicking on Follow. Join a private group by selecting Send Request. The request will be approved or rejected by the group founder or coordinator. Here are some more tips on posts. Post to someone's feed and the recipient will find the message in My Feed and gets a notification. Post to public or private groups and the group members will find the message in My Feed and get a notification. Post comment to a model and anyone who follows the model will find the message in My Feed and will get a notification. Filters can be used to sort feeds based on certain criteria. The filter section also includes My Bookmarks and My Liked Items. Create a filter and select a criteria from the feed menu. For example, Groups I've Joined. You can also specify one or several keywords for the filter. When you click on a filter that you created, your feeds will be narrowed based on the filter criteria. In this example, the filter is displaying any posts which include the term sales in model, groups, or hashtags.